While there aren't a lot of changes to this Honda CRV over last year's model, we still think that it's significant enough to do a video on it. Wouldn't you agree? Chances are you would if you've recently been in the compact SUV market. If you haven't and you're new here, welcome. The water is warm and full of players like the Toyota RAV4, Mazda CX-5, Chevy Equinox, Hyundai Santa Fe, and even the Ford Bronco Sport. There are so many competitors in this segment that some manufacturers have two. But I digress, we're talking about the Honda CRV here, and we at Kelly Blue Book like this thing so much that we have absolutely showered it with Best Buy accolades. The standard 1.5 liter turbocharged engine feels plucky. Yes, I'm okay with that word as long as it's not describing me. The CRV packs a decent amount of power. It's got 190 horsepower. Now, it's not going to blow anybody's hair back, but let's face it, you're not buying this car to take it on a track day. When it comes to maneuverability, the CRV does a solid job. There are other SUVs that might steer more precisely or feel a bit more performance oriented when it comes to the suspension, but the CRV is a great complete package. As far as the overall ride in the CRV, you know, there's nothing jarring about it. There's nothing jolting. It's a very comfortable ride, quite soothing if you can move past the sort of droning and noise of the CVT. But let's call this like the weighted blanket of driving experiences, which, I mean, who doesn't want to feel that comfortable and cozy on your commute? Of course, in the safety department, Honda nails it with their Honda Sensing suite of driver's assistance features. Those include great extras for avoiding accidents like forward collision warning with pedestrian detection, low speed automatic emergency braking, lane departure warnings, and lane keeping assist. What it doesn't come with is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto standard on the base trim level. That's kind of too bad. It does come on all the other trim levels, so it might be worth an upgrade just for that. One of the CRV's best attributes is its use of interior space. For a two row, five passenger SUV, it's among the best in its class for cargo and passenger room. Okay, just maybe not Mike Danger in the back seat. The visibility in the CRV is actually quite good. There's not really much of anything that's impeding your view. Overall, the interior feels really functional and, oh, I don't know, what more do you want than functional? Again, more reasons why we've showered accolade after accolade on this sucker. Trim levels offer up generous extras like that smartphone connectivity I mentioned earlier, a power sunroof and heated front seats in the EX. The EXL gets your power tailgate, leather trimmed interior, and a power front passenger seat. The highest touring trim throws in navigation and a heated steering wheel. Base price on the CRV starts at about $25,400 while the Touring moves up to $33,650. All-wheel drive can be added on for $1,500. You can also get a hybrid CRV from between $30,600 and $36,400, depending on the trim level you select there. All-wheel drive on those models comes standard thanks to its two electric motors that pair with a four-cylinder engine. Gas mileage is great in the CRV. The hybrid, as expected, does even better. So no, it does not get a new horn, there are no new flashing lights and sirens, but you know what, the Honda CRV has so much of what you want already that it's very likely we could give it another Kelly Blue Book Best Buy Award this year. Subscribe to the Kelly Blue Book YouTube channel and find out. I have to fix my hair first. <laughs> okay.